Okay, so here's my technique here for building the site as a tracing image. Now, to make it a little less confusing here, guys, um, this particular comp has the markup on it for the div tags and the red lines. That can be a little distracting when you're trying to place graphics, when you're trying to place your div tags precisely. So what I suggest we do here is I have another version of this comp without the blue border. I simply put it in the fireworks and cropped it or any tool that's going to crop it out. So I'm just going to bring in the design comp with the white background. So here's how we'll do this. We'll just start a file, save it as, and we'll save it as version 1B. Okay, then I'm going to command J again, command J, control J windows, go back to trace image and bring in new tracing image, which we call, I call, two size sans blue, so it doesn't have the blue background. Okay, so it just brings in the actual comp itself, okay, minus the blue background. I'll just make it much more enjoyable if we do it this way. Now, the reason we have both files here is because I can get my, my um, div tag names from my mockup. Okay, so the first div tag we're going to have is the wrapper, which you're going to put in place. Okay, so let's use this as a mockup to toggle between my two files here. Okay, now to make it less confusing here too, we're going to temporarily hide this comp. How do I do that? I go to view, trace image, and deselect show. Okay, so now we're going to put our names of our tags. So inside of the wrapper tag. The first main tag is the branding tag. So we're just going to simply type in the word branding. E-R-A-N-D-I-N-G. Then we're going to hit the space bar. Okay. Let's look at our previous comp. So inside the branding tag, we're going to have the logo tag followed by the site nav followed by the site tagline. So it's logo followed by site nav followed by site by logo inside of the branding tag. So let's do that. So branding is going to be followed by logo space followed by site nav. Um, camel casing here, uh, when you, you can't put spaces for the name of your div tag ID, so I'm going to camel case this. And then we're going to do the tagline. So let's call this site tagline. Okay, make a change, save a change. Make sure I'll have the space in there. Okay, make a change, save a change. So let's go back here. So I have my wrapper tag. Everything's inside the wrapper tag, followed by the branding tag. Inside the branding tag is logo div, site div, and site tagline. Okay. Okay. So I want to share with you another production technique here. I happen to be on a 13-inch monitor, and I can scroll down inside this document. So this is what we can do to solve our issue here. Now, important step. If I go to live view right now, if I click live view, I'm not going to see anything because tracing image doesn't show up on the website itself. Tracing image is just for internal use for Dreamweaver. So I'm going to hit Command-J again, Command-J, and go to background image. I'm going to bring in the original background image, and I don't want it to repeat, so I'm going to say no repeat. Therefore, when I go to live view, I can actually see the file, and if I hit command plus, command minus, I can zoom in, zoom out. So now I can see the names of my other div tags. So that's just a simple production technique because you technically can't scroll up and scroll down inside your dream interface if it's not set up correctly. So you can technically scroll up and scroll down and set your document. So what I want to share with you is a nifty little trick here. So the objective here, I want to scroll down here so I can see the name of my other div tags. So if you come down here to the bottom right hand corner, we're going to change this layout to tablet size. Now once you do that and you're in live view, in tablet size I can now scroll up and scroll down. Now I can see the name of my other div tags. How cool is that? Okay, so this section right here, this section right here is going to be main content. So after the 
tag line space. We're going to type in main content. Now, what does main content contain? So let's go back to our other file. Main content's going to contain what's new, our mission, our services. So again, we're just going to call them exactly the title of the section, what's new, our mission, our services. So let's go back here and let's type in what's new, our mission. Again, very important step here, guys. I'm just hitting the space bar to do this in our services. Make a change, save a change. Let's go back here again. And let's scroll down here a little bit. And this is inside the same main content tag. We have follow us and client quotes. So let's go back here, type in follow us and client quotes. Okay, simple, simple, simple. These are going to be the name of our div tags for the entire site. Now, the final div tag, the final div tag, if I scroll down on this, is simply going to be footer. So now we've accomplished exactly what we needed to do. We have the names of all, all of our div tags. Make a change, save a change. Okay. Now we have to start putting the div tags where they belong correctly. So as an example here, all this information here, site tag, line, site nav, logo, goes inside the branding div tag. All this information, client quotes, follow us, services, our mission, goes inside of the main content div tag. So we're going to put these in the correct place in our next video. But I just wanted to share with you how simple this is to set up. You can basically just go right from your design comp. You can mock it up and say, okay, this is my section here. Okay, I can say this goes in this div tag and this goes in that div tag. Again, div tag is simply division. It's dividing out the site. Call the div tags where they're located. Don't call them where they're, I'm sorry, just totally screwed that one up. Call the div tags what they contain, not where they're located. Don't call my left div, my top div, et cetera, et cetera. Because if there's changes to your site, now you gotta change the whole function of the site. Where if you call it what it contains, you're way better off. So in our next video, we'll put these in the correct place and start creating CSS rules for our new div tags to create our website.